Okay guys, uh, so I've got a DRT or if you want to call it DRT or MRS set, set up here just with a hitch climber pulley. I've been kind of digging that lately. Um, and I'm going to, rather than doing a hip thrust or using a hand ascender with a foot loop, now I'm going to try using a foot ascender. Everything is basically the same principle. If you're climbing DRT this way, you just you can just sit into your your saddle, take your foot ascender, place your rope into the foot ascender, and now instead of doing a hip thrust or using a hand ascender up above your system, you're beneath it with, just like if I tied in um, a foot loop with a Prusik, or if I used a Ropeman, or if I used a hand ascender up above it, same idea. Now my foot ascender is attached to my foot, and I just stand, step into it, and it'll take me up the rope. And you're using all leg strength to climb very easily. Works really well. Take your foot ascender out before you come down. To climb down. Unfortunately we have uh, crummy weather today because you know, we got rain in the next two days. It's a Saturday. First chance I've had to come out here. Unfortunately, this week it was really nice weather, but uh, I, I didn't have time. I had to come into work early every day, so I couldn't make this video. But this is another way to go, you know, um, utilizing a foot ascender when you're DRT climbing. I'm going to show you using a foot ascender with this. With this type of uh, SRT or SRS system, you have to have either a foot ascender or a knee ascender, or you could utilize both. With a foot ascender and a knee ascender, you can literally walk right up the rope. Um, I don't have really enough room here to use both the foot and the knee ascender, and I think it's a little bit busy for what we like to do, but if it's something that you, if this is something that you're getting into and you want to get into the recreational aspect, of rope climbing and trees uh, it might be something you want to think about. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I'll show you how it works. I've got the Petzl Zigzag, Petzl Chicane. Petzl Zigzag is basically, it's a mechanical Prusik. And then the Chicane is a lot like what's called the rope wrench. And it makes it where you can climb a single rope if you have them working together. If you take off the Chicane and just use the Zigzag, the zigzag itself, you could use your zigzag in place of a, a Blake's hitch. It's basically a mechanical Blake's hitch or it's a mechanical hitch of some type. So it's really smooth. It's got a big pulley on the bottom for tending it. Um, real, real smooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my foot ascender, which is on my right foot, to climb. And I'll show you how easy it is. I'm going to basically just sit into my system, catch the rope in the foot ascender, and then you're going to stand up, sit into it, very, very easy. <laughs> and then with this, it's very responsive, very easy to to repel back out. But it's pretty cool. It doesn't get much easier than this for SRT climbing. A um, little bit more gear. It's more a little bit more expense, but this kind of has more capabilities. You can kind of do more with it. And this is something that um, you're safe when you're in the tree. It's a hands-free system, whereas using a Gree Gree or a Mad Rock Technically, you're not supposed to go hands-free with those. This is a working rope system. You can you can be safe doing anything in the tree. So, if you're if you're hunting, 
you know, this is safer than, uh, it's, it's about as safe as a Prusik, you know, it's, it's, well, that's what it is, it's a mechanical Prusik. Okay guys, uh, now I'm going to show you using a foot loop, uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying foot loop, a uh, foot ascender um, in a DRT MRS system. And uh, again, I'm going to play around this time using the, uh, the Petzl Zigzag. Uh, this time I'm using it in a um, DRT MRS application. Um, as I said before, your Zigzag is kind of like a mechanical Blake's hitch or a mechanical Prusik or friction hitch of some type. So, so sit into my saddle. I've got my... Uh, I've got my foot ascender on my right foot. Same idea. I'm going to catch the rope through the foot ascender. Well, now you want to kind of be careful. You can't put your hands above it. You've got to hold on the rope underneath it and just step up. works really well. Same idea as using a foot loop or a hand ascender with a with a foot loop. It's just you're you're catching it off a foot ascender, same idea. And as I said, this um, the zigzag, you know, if you guys are like us and you're getting out there doing most of the climbing I do is in the pre and post season. I love scout climbing getting into the trees, setting up my, my paracord loops. And that's those are the days where I'm actually kind of getting out on limbs and uh, trimming some branches, cutting out my shooting lanes. So this kind of gear is perfect for that because you don't have to worry about noise or anything. Um, and this is, you know, this is the kind of device you want to use when you're working in the tree. You're going hands-free. Um, you want something like this or like a rope wrench or be tied in with a Prusik of some type and so you can go hands free. If you're just using a Gree Gree or a Mad Rock, you want to have something secondary. Um, you don't want to just, because those devices are not designed to be going hands free. They're, you can use them to climb your rope, but once you get to height, you kind of need to tie off another way. But with this, this is going to keep you safe. This is designed for that. So you'll be able to actually go hands free and do a little bit of work in the tree. Uh, not that I'm promoting doing tree work, but if you're trimming out some, you know, you're just kind of pruning out the tree a little bit, small branches, that sort of thing, to clear shooting lanes. Those are the kind of things that us hunters do. Um, this is the kind of thing you want to use for something like that. It'll keep you safe. All right. So, but yeah, um, it, the foot ascender works really good in both applications. Um, you know, it's it's another way to go. Um, if you want to use a uh, hand ascender uh, with a foot loop, that works too. And if you use that uh, type of setup, you can use that for DRT climbing. Um, and you can use that for SRT with a Gree Gree or a Mad Rock or utilizing something like a, uh, the Petzl Descenders, those, those types of devices. Um, that's for a rad climbing system. So uh, hopefully that explains uh, foot ascenders. I'm going to be making another video in another couple days when we get some good weather showing the knee ascender and showing some rope walking and uh, we'll get into that and that's that's a little bit more advanced there's a little bit more going on um, but it looks like a really fun way to climb so we'll play around with that and show you that in the future all right so climb safe and best of luck <laughs>